Justice League the Anime Series Season 2 Episodes 15 and 16 titled The Terror Beyond. And the story is basically about is that Superman, Wonder Woman and Hawk Girl are looking for some of the Granny after an incident with the army. But turns out that someone has been summoned by Aquaman and Dr. Fate to save the world from mystical threats. This story is probably the weakest script that Adrian Gaddafi ever written for Justice League. I mean, it's not bad, it's not the worst thing I, I have ever seen for the show. But, personally, the first half is just a dunton. There's, you know, like the first 15 minutes is just a lot of Superman and Wonder Woman and Hot Girl, you know, asking questions about where, where's Aquaman and Son of the Grundy? Where's Aquaman and Son of the Grundy? Where's Aquaman and Son of the Grundy? And it, it felt really a done thing. I really wanted the plot to move on. Also, there's a fight scene at the at the end of the first half that felt really meaningless, really. It felt like, you know, it's a Saturday morning cartoon. I have uh, heroes fighting the villains because the kids would be disappointed if they weren't fighting punches. Even though I think it will be a better storytelling method if they just talked and understand where each other, you know. Just like Wonder Woman starts attacking, you know, Dr. Fade and Aquaman and Sandra Grundy out of the blue and just felt like, oh well, you know, they need to fight, so anyway. But I will say, I mean, I liked seeing Sandra Grundy's past, you know, the life before he became Sandra Grundy. Because if you don't know, Sandra Grundy is a soulless, brainless walking zombie um and we found out that he was in he was around in the 30s he was a crook he uh died from a a assassination with like five you know it's like godfather's style of like five people shooting you with machine guns at the promise of like you know Grundy wants his, wants his soul back wow and so the, the deal is like help you know Doctor Fate is like help us we'll help you, and that that was a, that was like a really good crunch for me. The second half is is it's it's way better because you know you you're getting payoff you're getting more um you know more stuff is happening stuff is starting to get interesting, and of course the last like five minutes is just hot whipping you know at the end you have this our main villain is like a, a god that the the Atlanteans and uh, hot girls people used to um used to worship Grundy heard about a soul and he immediately attacks a villain and saying like give Grundy his give Grundy his soul back give it back and he is thus whipping and punching and going inside the, the the body because it's like a big head with uh sn you know snakes and stuff like that and and he dies from it and hot girl shows up and it's the most quiet moment and the most heart whipping moment um you know i'm i'm, I'm tearing up even thinking about it because you have like you know, power facing, of course, but you have Grundy, you know, hot girls in, uh, you know, having Sullivan in her arms, and, and Grundy asks, asks her, you know, will, you know, basically, you know, will I be in the afterlife, will, will my soul be in the afterlife, and, and hot girls, like, I don't believe, yeah, it'll be there. And then, yeah, he says, oh, Grundy will have his reward then. And it's this kind of like, it's, God, I'm tearing up right now, even thinking about it. It's, it's such well done. It's beautifully written. The, and this, it's just, yeah, I mean, 